Good morning. Are you on the video? I don't see you. Oh, maybe I pushed the wrong button. How's that? That is amazing. Amazing. All right. Good morning, Jordan. This is like the clearest you've ever come in. I must be having some good internets this morning. Yeah, you're actually coming in kind of clear also. I did move that router thing up here into the office. I need to try to connect that thing later on. That little hot spot. So we'll see. Does that on. matter? Or is it my end for you to be clear? I have no idea. It's the internet, dude. Uh, I don't try to figure out how they work. Uh, well, I have to ask Al Gore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he created it. So anyway, hey, man, so let's talk about that turkey hunt yesterday. Um, tell me about it. I want to hear about it. Well, first off, it never would have been possible if it wasn't for the, the turkey calling stash. Yeah. That's got to go all the way through elk season. You got to leave it. You got to let it ride. Yeah. Well, elk season gets the handlebars. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was right. Now, it was good. It's been windier than shit all week. And I finally made it out there again yesterday morning. And it's this little piece of public that's landlocked. But I got a permission from a landowner who's a buddy of mine to walk through his land to be able to access it. And I was there all weekend, and I heard him all weekend. And then yesterday morning, I went and I got set up and started hearing him pretty pretty much right away, just a bunch of hens. So I was calling, and I wasn't there maybe 15 or 20 minutes, and here comes a, a little old Jake trotting right up the little trail, and he turned and cut up towards me and the decoys. And then he got to about 10 yards, and I passed on him because he was, he was little, little. And it was only 15 minutes into the hunt, and I was like, oh, something else is going to come. So he left. I called again, and I got a gobble from a couple hundred yards away down the mountain a little bit. And I sat there, and then I called again, and I got another gobble. And then I could start to see this big old Tom and uh, a group of what I thought was hens with him come at me. And at about 100 yards, that Tom just stayed low and just turned and walked away. But that group of what ended up being a few jakes and a hen came right up to me. And it was very confusing as to why they broke away from that Tom. Yeah, I'm still, still perplexed. I don't know enough but, about turkeys to try to help you out, man. So, I have no idea. So, anyway, anyway, I sat and called and played with them and tried to mimic. Because whenever I get into a group of turkeys, I, I like to try to mimic the sounds they make. You know, a lot of people do the same thing for elk, but. They came and they kind of fed around my uh, my decoys and I sat and I watched them for about 10 minutes. And one of them was a pretty big Jake. And I had that whole internal dilemma. I'm like, do I shoot this Jake? I know there's a big Tom down there. And then I was like, well, do you, you know, the age old saying, don't pass something up on opening day that you would take on the last day. Mm-hmm. So, long story short, they played around for about 10 minutes or so around my decoys, and then they were starting to cut up and uh, walk away, and I ended up pulling the trigger on that Jake. It was a nice bird, though. It looked like a nice bird, from what I know. I okay. thought it was great. Did it put a couple big yeah. old turkey breasts in your freezer? It did, and some thighs, and some legs, and a gizzard, and a heart. Well, then I think it's so, a, a perfect little bird. It worked out. The tag said any beard. So There you go. There you go. Um, what calls did you use? I'm, I'm curious because, like I said, I don't really know much about turkey hunting, so I'm curious how you brought them in. I don't have any very expensive calls or anything. I have a real cheap H&S strut raspy old hen slate call that I like to to use to kind of, once they're in and I 
I can visually, visually see them. I like to use that slate call. And then prior to that, I use a couple of different diaphragms that are just kind of a no-name company that I got at Academy. There you go. So you don't have to be the world's best caller and do a bunch of clucking and purring and wing, wing scraping and scratching and all kinds of other stuff to get turkeys to come in. Well, it takes a little bit. Well, that's good, dude. I, I'm super happy for you, man. Season's over now. Now what are you going to do? I don't know. I know they're out there. I'm probably going to go out there tomorrow and still just try to get better at calling. Because it's fun to sit there and talk to them. Yeah. Did you say you're helping somebody tomorrow? Yeah, I'm, I might go out. I don't know. They were, they were wanting to get out there a little bit earlier than I like to get up for turkeys. On a Saturday. On a Saturday. You might, you might yeah, end up with a couple of beers in you on a Friday night. You never know. Yeah, or a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, whatever day, right? Whatever day is perfect for a cold beer. It was a lot of fun. The shotgun shell went off. So that was good, considering the previous issues that I had with those shells. Yeah, right, right. What shells was it? Uh, those Winchester turkey loads. When I went to pattern them, that first one shot fine. That second one had a delay and messed my face up a little bit. Like, I, I pulled the trigger. It didn't go off right away, and I started to unshoulder it, and then it kicked up into my face. Did you ever send but, your strongly worded message to Winchester? No, because you know how I am. If I didn't do it right then as we were talking about it, then I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, good, dude. I think we'll wrap it up yep. there. I just wanted to hear a little bit about your turkey hunt. I wanted to get this. This I thought this would be a cool first video to start throwing up on our YouTube page and Instagram page for these little interviews. And Yeah, absolutely. Good luck out there by just going out and playing around and calling and practicing and being out in the woods. I think, man, that's probably the best feeling of all of it, just being able to get back outside. I know, especially with everything going on, just to get out in the morning and go walk around away from a bunch of people. Yeah. A lot. Absolutely, man. Cool. We'll wrap it up, dude. Thanks. Yeah. I'll talk to you later. Bye.